think it will suit him. Aston Martin dash. One of those is democracy dilemma. Will it be another golden Saturday for Jim and Fitri Hay after the victory of Royal Scotsman? It looks as though the Robert Cal second string might be one of the last ones forward with Alligator Alley in stall four. So for the dash of 2024, blink and you'll miss it. Here's Simon. Democracy dilemma. Ross Ryan seeking this dash double here into stall eight. And they're set. They're off, racing away, night on earth, fast away with Silky Wilkie. Down the centre, Democracy Dilemma showing bags of pace and leads early from the Bell Conductor. Lethal Nymph away to the right, down the centre, looking for Linda. Uh, badly left at the stalls was Clarendon House, who's tailed off as they race down the straight. And Democracy Dilemma has got across towards this stands rail from Law of Average. Night of Earth in the red and white, the Bell Conductor, Lethal Nymph, and then looking for Linda. They're chased by Dream Composer, Black with Red Star. Chipstead is chasing hard from Silky Wilkie and then behind these live in the moment and Alligator Alley and Lord Ridderford as they hurtle down towards the final furlong. Democracy Dilemma on this side from looking for Linda. They're chased by Antiphon coming through Well Dream Composer but it's Democracy Dilemma all the way here. Absolutely blasted from the gates. Blasting at home but coming through very strong Dream Composer and going to get there. Dream Composer with a late thrust denies Democracy Dilemma. Then looking for Linda in third. Then Antif on the bell conductor out in the centre, Chipstead. Stall seven beats stall eight. Dream composer right at the death wins the dash and beats Democracy Dilemma into second place. Looking for Linda has come through for third. We'll bring you the fourth shortly. Six to one, Dream Composer has given Joe Levy a red letter day here for James Evans. Loves a downhill track, loves this sort of thing, but was he ever going to get into it? Such was the speed that Democracy Dilemma showed to get out from eight down to the rail and you thought, well, Ross Ryan's won another five furlong race today. Not quite. Yeah, and I think it cost democracy dilemma a little bit didn't it because understandably they were keen to come across and get that stand side because of what had happened in our previous race as it turned out here doesn't appear like you did actually need to be there Joe Levy didn't get across he had to sit and suffer a little bit he had to pull wide for a clear run but it hasn't mattered a bit but democracy dilemma in coming right across has used up a lot of gas to get there and has just been run down late Clarendon House stands in the stalls stall 12 Stock still. no chance after that literally nearly refused uses to well basically has refused to race hasn't he don't, don't remember him ever, ever doing that before by contrast it's stable companion like a tracer bullet i mean this is a remarkable display of speed you feel that democracy dilemma could take a hand in in some really good races with this with this sort of pure pace yeah he's got loads of boot hasn't he and um, as i say he's just probably had to overdo it a little bit to get across if he'd have been able to stay straight it's understandable why rosser wanted to come to where he came to but he he, he had to use up a bit of extra petrol didn't he jane at this stage i thought looking for linda was making the best of her way home i wasn't watching the back the dark colors behind her of dream composer and joe levy uh, then was drawn to i thought jim and feature hey we're going to have a double the three of them uh, stamping their authority on a race where not many others really got involved. Ross Ryan is strong as an ox stand side, but he just got outnumbered by the five pound claimer on the, on the, in the centre of the track. Dream composer, again one of those races where there wasn't too many unlucky stories in behind. Uh, they had uh, plenty of room and I thought Holly from the front. That horse has run a very good race to sustain her effort to take third. Um, but yeah, disappointing from a number of these. Silky, Wilky, never looked likely. Clarendon House never took part. Clarendon House just stopped still in the stalls. Got out of bed the wrong side this morning. Who knows what happened there? Looking for Linda's run a really good race in third. Running through for fourth there. Looked like Antiphon has run well here for Jack Doughty and Mike Murphy and Michael Keady at a pretty big price. But dream composer it is that has won and has, has done so, really, in spite of not being to best advantage by the way the race was run. No, but he, he, he's, he's suited by a fast gallop and he's suited by a downhill track and 